Tropical Storm Debbie is still far from over as we have several days ahead of both severe weather including tornadoes in addition to the potential for catastrophic flooding both today and tomorrow across parts of the Carolinas and then that flooding threat will eventually move into the northeast where we could see several inches of rain as we get closer to the weekend. So in today's forecast we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about Tropical Storm Debbie, why there is still a lot of bad news coming for the next couple of days but why there's also some good news to go along with that. So we are going to begin with what's happening on the infrared imagery right now and overall Debbie does not look as impressive as it did a couple of days ago. You might notice that a lot of what you're seeing on here are the low level clouds and then there's a little bit of green and yellow and that is some of the outer bands that are starting to ramp back up again and once we start to see more red colors popping up that's going to indicate some of the heavier rainfall that we're going to be seeing along with the higher cloud tops. So that's something that we're going to be watching for but again there isn't really that much heavy rain for the most part a lot of that heavy rain today is going to be really building across the eastern side of Debbie where we have a southerly flow basically bringing a ton of moisture into Debbie and that'll eventually just dump itself on South and North Carolina causing significant flooding later today and as well as tomorrow. Now on the west side we also have some showers that are still ongoing there some heavy rainfall that's trying to build but overall that's not going to lead to too many more inches of rain over in those areas. Notice how large and broad the area of circulation is this morning across South Carolina. Right now, Debbie is back over water. It's just to the east of Georgia. It's just to the south of South Carolina. It is expected to move a little bit more to the east and then eventually curve to the north, but it's going to be a slow-moving system. It's expected to make landfall, though, later tonight into either later tonight or into Thursday morning. So good news is that it's not going to have much time to intensify over the Atlantic Ocean, but it will become a bit of a stronger tropical storm, I think, later today. This is what Debbie looks like on the water vapor imagery in the mid-levels, and I wanted to show you this because you can actually see from yesterday into this morning the dry air that has been filtering into Debbie and this is actually good news the reason why is because dry air is kind of leaking here into the center which it will eventually go away later today I think we're going to start to see heavier rainfall but that dry air is actually at least temporarily limited how much moisture Debbie has and that's actually limited to rainfall totals across parts of South and North Carolina at least during the overnight hours but again I do think this is going to start to build again as we go throughout the day as it is over open Atlantic Ocean waters and that should eventually fuel more of a flooding risk today. Now the National Hurricane Center still thinks that this is going to be a very slow moving system today over the Atlantic Ocean. Notice the wind field is actually pretty large by the way. These are where the tropical storm force winds are and it's not even that strong of a tropical storm. Maximum sustained winds at about 45 to 50 miles per hour right now. Once we go later into the afternoon I do think this will start to intensify a little bit probably up to a middle grade tropical storm storm before making landfall late tonight into early tomorrow morning as probably about a 60 mile per hour tropical storm in South Carolina. Now after this it becomes really a system of just rain and even then it's going to be basically rain now all the way through Saturday into Sunday as this eventually moves to the northeast. There will be a chance for a few tornadoes both today and tomorrow in South and North Carolina and perhaps Virginia. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. By Thursday evening this will be a weak tropical storm and then by Friday this is going to be a tropical depression and then by Saturday this should just be a full-blown post-tropical cyclone it'll basically not be anything of concern I think after Friday aside from the rainfall that's going to be falling across the northeast so that'll be something to watch for which we're going to talk more about that in detail here in just a second and then after Saturday this races to the northeast into parts of Canada still bringing the potential for some rainfall now here are the computer models they're all on board basically with this staying over land which is good news because that means that this will not re-intensify over the Atlantic Ocean. There are a couple models that bring it to the northeast and actually back into the Atlantic, but the vast majority are back over land, which means that this should not re-intensify into anything beyond what it already is. It should just stay a tropical depression over land. All the computer models right now basically indicating this will just stay a weak to maybe low-grade tropical storm between now all the way through tomorrow there will be a chance for a tornado or two today across North and South Carolina. We do currently have a little marginal threat for severe weather for both North Carolina and a very small sliver of South Carolina near Myrtle Beach. We'll have the potential for, again, an isolated tornado or two today. For tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, though, we actually have a higher risk for tornadoes. We currently have a 5% tornado risk, which goes from about Richmond, Virginia, back into much of North Carolina, which we will be watching for the potential for a few tornadoes as we go 
go into Thursday, as Debbie is expected to be more organized on Thursday compared to today. Here are the tornado parameter values for today. Notice our main corridor will be this afternoon and evening across parts of southeastern North Carolina, where some of those outer bands will produce the potential for an isolated tornado or two. We might go live today. I'm not really sure if we're going to. So again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Once we go into Thursday, though, I think our tornado threat starts to increase more, especially here in central eastern parts of North Carolina. And then by the evening, that tornado threat starts to race back up into parts of Virginia. That'll probably be a threat most of Thursday afternoon and evening, and that could even continue into parts of early Friday morning. So something to watch for there. Now we're going to go region by region, beginning with Georgia and South Carolina for today. There will continue to be showers and heavy rainfall across the eastern tier of South Carolina this morning. This will really ramp up as we get closer to lunchtime, and that could be when we start to see some more significant flash flooding near Florence and back through Myrtle Beach. By the afternoon hours, we're going to continue to watch for rainfall rates upwards of one to three inches an hour, which will continue to bring some significant flooding. Eventually, by this evening, the rainfall will just continue to pound itself back over in South Carolina. And then after we go into Thursday morning, I think things get a little bit quieter, but we're still probably going to at least deal with one to two inches of rainfall per hour for areas that are seeing heavier bands of rain. By Thursday evening, I think we're going to continue to still see rain out there, but it should start to wind down a bit more as we go into Friday morning for South Carolina. Back up in North Carolina and Virginia, rain is going to be continuing throughout the day. It's going to ramp up more as we go into the evening and then eventually into the overnight hours into Thursday morning. That is when a lot more of that light to moderate rainfall will be falling across areas like Raleigh and Greenville. And then eventually as we go into Thursday morning, that rain just continues. It really does not end anytime soon. And then as we go later into Thursday and Friday morning, I think the rain will start to at least continue, but it'll be more light to moderate, not nearly as heavy for many of those areas. So in terms of total rainfall accumulation between now and Thursday evening, many areas near Florence and Myrtle Beach can still expect between 6 to 12 inches of rainfall on top of what we've already seen. Many areas like Savannah and Statesboro are not really going to see much there in Georgia, maybe an extra inch on top of what we've already seen. Now in terms of rainfall totals between now and Thursday evening across Virginia and North Carolina is going to still be relatively high. Now keep in mind, parts of Virginia like Harrisonburg and Charlottesville, those areas are going to see mo most of their rain on Friday, but a lot of the rain that's going to fall in North Carolina will be significant. We're still talking about a widespread area of two to six inches of rain, and we could even see some spots that get close to 12 inches of rain as we go into Friday. So once we add up the totals, they will definitely be a little bit higher, I think, than what we're seeing here. Now, after today and tomorrow, I think the system is going to continue to move to the northeast. We're actually probably going to see two different low pressure systems merge with each other as we go into Friday into Saturday. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Overall, a lot of rain is going to fall, but the good news is that this is going to be a much faster moving system as it moves through the northeast. So not nearly as much rain in, you know, all, all in all is basically going to fall in those areas. Once we go into Sunday into Monday, this starts to move out of the United States. We're done with Debbie, I think, by Sunday. By Monday into Tuesday, we're going to start to watch for some more showers and thunderstorms in the central plains near Missouri. I don't see any severe weather events really in the near future that look significant as we go through the week. We might see something by, you know, maybe the tail end of this upcoming week, but I just don't see anything that looks significant. And then our next tropical system could develop as early as this upcoming weekend. So next weekend is what I'm talking about. We could see our next tropical system back over in the Atlantic Ocean. Right now, it does not appear to be a concern for the United States, but we'll keep a close eye on it as we are in the hurricane season. In terms of total rainfall accumulation between now and Saturday and Sunday, again, notice a widespread area of two to even up to five inches of rain will be possible anywhere from Virginia all the way back up into New York, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already.